It's an interesting discussion, or rather a question, and that's what I would like to address here, and that's the idea of thoughts and where thoughts come from. And if thoughts basically are bad, or is it the nature of thoughts which we are here to explore? And it began by when I put out a couple of videos uh, about animals being the great teacher. And animals are basically, they, they are, have a great amount of wisdom because they just are. They don't have to think about what they do, they just are. But we human beings, we are so much caught up in our thoughts that it can be difficult to just simply be. You know, like when we come into this world as children, we are so much into the, the space of just doing, we don't really think about it. This problem begins and as we grow up and we, we learn about this world, we become conditioned. And so the thoughts keep on playing in our mind. But it's an interesting question where thoughts come from and also how they are related to feelings. And I definitely would love to hear from you about that. What you think about that. The nature of thoughts, the quality of thoughts. And how they are, of course, related to our actions. You definitely wonder, what, what do animals really think about? Or do they think? Or is it more that their actions are dictated by instinct? It's interesting to see also how territorial they are, just like us human beings. We have very much in common with animals. Even though what really distinguishes us is our sense of awareness, our ability to communicate and to develop thoughts. And so this create and manipulate our environment. The reason the question is, yeah, the question is, is uh, to understand the, the, the quality, the nature of our thoughts. And we can have positive thoughts where we think about, you know, love and, and we feel love and we express that and we, 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 have, we hold high thoughts about ourselves and other people. Or we can think negatively. And of course that is something to be, be faced and to be overcome. So really think about that and I would love to hear your ideas and your thoughts about the nature and quality of thoughts and, and how we can give that whole process direction. Of course, there's no denying that we can get stuck in our thoughts. And the program keeps on repeating itself over and over and over. And this, this, this kind of thinking, I, I believe we need to overcome. Where thoughts are just a matter of repeating or following the script handed down to us. And so yes, our thoughts think us. But thoughts, I've come to find, are very, very important, are critical. They actually what, are what make us human. Another good example is when we look at children and how children are so expressive and they are able to, 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 to share their thoughts without really thinking about it. They're very spontaneous in expressing themselves and expressing their feelings. And when they're hurt, you know, they express that. And when they're happy, you know, they show joy. And they don't think about that twice. And they ask many times, you know, questions that are, yeah, just, just a sign of that. And they're very innocent and they don't really know. And that's really the problem, I believe, as we come into this world and as we grow up in this world, we gain all this knowledge, which is the result of all the book learning and all the information we receive from others. And so we, we, we move beyond the spontaneous thinking and, and, and take on a robotic way of just basically following the script, following the program, which we all become part of. So it is a matter of going beyond that. But thoughts are very, very important. Because ultimately, I don't think it is possible to exist without thoughts. Maybe something else to be thought about. The question is, what do our thoughts tell us? And so if our thoughts tell us bad, negative things about us, of course, that's what they, they create this reality. You know, we think negatively about us, you know, we look down on us. We have low self-esteem, which is a result of how we think about ourselves. Or we can think highly of ourselves, we can think highly of other people. All of that creates our reality. So thoughts are very, very important, I've come to find. But yeah, it is about how to give that process direction. And that's part of, of personal development, if I've come to see it. You know, we need to really look at, you know, those patterns which have created our reality and really what they tell us. It's 
So yeah, thanks for watching again, and I'm really curious. Uh, what do you think?